Comment ils vont te planquer Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another project video. So you've seen us do a couple of quadcopter related videos, but we really haven't talked about how to fly safe. So today we're gonna to take some time to show you how easy it is to register yourself with the FAA here in the United States and your quadcopter device so you can fly legally within the bounds of the law. So let's take a look here and we'll get started. If your aircraft weighs more than 250 grams, you'll need to register yourself with the FAA. The fee is only $5 per person every three years, but you can fly an unlimited amount of aircrafts once you're registered. So head on over to the FAA site at registermyuavs.faa.gov. You can register online or if you prefer, you can also send in your form via snail mail, but online only takes a couple of minutes. We'll start off by selecting our account type, either a hobby or commercial. Fill in your info to create and verify your account. After you verify via email, you can complete your profile. You'll be assigned a unique number that must be written on any of the aircrafts that you're going to fly. You will also need to re-register every three years to stay up to date. So here's some rules to always keep in mind. Fly below 400 feet. Always fly your aircraft within the line of sight. Be familiar with airspace requirements. Never fly over people, events, or stadiums. Never fly near emergencies like fires. Stay away from airports and don't fly under the influence. After you agree to follow the rules, you'll be prompted to pay. You'll receive a confirmation and be granted a registration number to add to your aircrafts. Add the numbers to a visible part on your aircraft. You can also write the number inside of the battery slot if the battery door does not require any screws. You'll also receive a principal card that you can carry around with you. And that's it, it's super easy. Just make sure to follow the rules by knowing where to fly. Now to find out where we can fly and where we can't, we can head over to app.airmap.io to see a map of different airspaces. You can also get the mobile version of the site for Android and iOS. Find the location you plan to fly to see if you are in restricted airspace. In Florida, we have a pretty large amount of space where we can fly, but if you pan over to the east, you can see the five mile radius of the airports that are close by. We can also get more information on each type of airspace we might be close to. We can click on an area to get a phone number to request permission from towers. We can also get more info on each type of airspace we might be close to. You can toggle between different areas like national parks, prohibited airspaces, and protected sections. You can also see advisory areas like hospitals, schools, and heliports. All right, so there you have it. That's how quick and easy it is to register yourself with the FAA here in the United States. Just remember to have common sense, make sure to fly around some areas that are not crowded by people and don't fly around airports, of course. So that's about it, guys. Let us know if you have any tips or anything. You can leave them down in the comments below. We're gonna go out here and do some flying, but uh, until next time, folks, remember to fly safe.